Hi, my name is Beth from My Tutoring Bee, and today we are going to do a redo of one of the videos I did 10 years ago, one of my very first videos here on YouTube about Big 7 Division. So let's get started. <laughs> I'm celebrating 10 years on YouTube and this is one of my most popular videos still. It's all about Big 7 Division, which is just an alternative method to the standard algorithm for long division. So I've got a couple of problems here that we're going to go through and show you how this works. Okay, to start off, we've got 329 divided by 7. So this looks like you would typically see it in a long division problem. However, to make it a Big 7 problem, and I've heard this called different names, but uh, I the one that I hear most commonly is big seven because when we put this line going all the way down the side over here, this bracket now looks like a big seven. So that's where the name comes from. And what we're going to do here is think about how to take away groups of seven from 329. Now we could just subtract seven and keep doing that over and over again and count up the number of times that we subtract seven. However, that could take a little while. So what we're going to do is we're going to find groups of seven, larger groups of seven that we can subtract away from 329 and count them up that way. So one of the reasons that this method works so well is because you don't have to be so exact with the multiples of seven. We're gonna start off with some big groups of seven that we're gonna take away, and we're going to get this number down to a smaller, more manageable number and see how many times seven can go into 329. All right, so let's just start off with 10. I'm going to write 10 over here. Over on the side is where I'm going to keep track of how many groups of 7 I'm subtracting away. And I know that 7 times 10 is 70. And so I chose 10 because that's a pretty easy multiple. That's a pretty, those two numbers are pretty easy to multiply together. So I'm just going to see where that gets me when I take away 70. And then we can go up or down from there. So uh, when we subtract, we get 9 here. We need to regroup. 12 minus 7 gives us 5, and then 2. Okay, so 259. That's still a pretty big number. So I'm going to see if I can go up a little bit higher and take, uh, take out more groups of 7. So let's instead this time take out 20. Okay, so again, I'm choosing numbers that are easy to multiply. So 2 times 7 is 14 plus the 0 on the end there. So that would give me... 140. Okay, so I'm going to subtract away 140. So this is a, a little bit bigger number that's going to get me down to my goal a little bit quicker, which is to get down to zero or a number that is lower than seven. All right, so we're left with 119. Okay, so I'm going to go back to a group of 10. So 10 groups of seven, that gives me 70, and I'm going to subtract that away. So I'm choosing 10, 20, and 10 again. Those are just the where I wanted to start. But one of the reasons that this method works is because we didn't have to start with 10. We didn't have to go to 20. You could have started with any number as long as that multiple is lower than whatever you're left with. If we would have started with 20 to begin with, we could have still subtracted that away from 329. So that's what I mean when I say that this method is a little bit more flexible than the standard method that we typically see. So, um, you know, just one of the reasons why I really like to use this method. All right, so now we're down to 49. And I might know that 49 is a multiple of 7. However, if I don't know that, then that's okay. We can just keep using numbers that we do know until we get to 0 or something that is smaller than 7. So let's say I don't know that 49 is a multiple of 7, but I do know what 5 times 7 is. So I'm going to take out 5 groups of 7. So 5 times 7 is 35. So I'm going to take that away. 9 minus 5 is 4. 4 minus 3 is 1. Okay, so now I'm down to 14. I do know that one. I do know that 7 times 2 is 14. So I'm going to take away a group of, or sorry, two groups of 7. And then that gets me down to 0, to nothing. So that's when I know that I'm done with this problem. Now, how many groups of 7 did we subtract away? 
Well, let's add them all up. I'm going to add up all of my 10s. 10 plus 20 plus 10 gives us 40. And then 5 plus 2 gets us 7. So we took out 47 groups of 7. All right, I have another example here for you. So I wanted to give you an example with these larger numbers to show you that it can really be helpful when you're dividing those larger numbers or dividing by maybe a two or a three digit number um, because maybe you don't know your multiples of 15 as well as you do single digits. So that's where this method can really shine. Okay, so again, we're going to go ahead and drop down this line on the side here. And we're going to start taking out groups of 15. So let's just start with 100. I don't know. I feel that just feels like a good starting place for me. Again, you can start with whatever amount of groups of 15 that you want, as long as it doesn't go over 9,514. So 1 times 15 is 15. And then we've got those two zeros on the end. So we're going to be subtracting away 1,500. So when we subtract this away, we still wind up with kind of a big number, 8,014. So I want to take away a little bit more this time. Let's go with 200 this time. So 2 times 15 is 30. And I've got those two zeros at the end. So I've got 30 and then two zeros at the end here. So we're taking away 3,000. All right, so now we just subtract. And then we get a five here. Okay, we're getting a little bit closer, but we're still in the thousands. So I want to still try to take away a little bit more this time. Let's this time go with 300 groups of 15. So three times 15 is 45. And then we've got those extra two zeros. And if you want to do it this way, you can go ahead and write in your extra two zeros at the end here. And then three times five is 45. All right, so again, we're still, we still have a number that we're subtracting that's smaller than what we were left with before. So let's go ahead and subtract. We need to do some regrouping here, which is good. That means we're gonna get down to a three digit number this time. So we're getting closer. All right, how many groups of 15 do we wanna take away from 514? I'm gonna start going down to two digit numbers. So let's go with 20. I know from up here that two times 15 was 30. So I think I'll be able to take away 300 from this one, right? If I'm multiplying 200 to get 3000, then 20 would give me one less zero, so 300. So we're gonna subtract this way. And I do have a video all about multiplying numbers times 10, 100, 1000, and then all multiples of those, so times 20, 200, 2000, and so on. So I will link that in the description as well. So let's see, we've got 214 left over here. Let's, let's go ahead and take away 10 groups of 15. So 15 times 10 is 150. I'm going to scoot this up just a little bit, give myself a little bit more room. So let's subtract. We're going to regroup. So that gives us, gets us down to 64. All right. So let's see how many times I know that 300 times 15 gave me 4,500. So that means three times 15 was 45. So I know I can take at least three out of here. So let's take away 45 and see what that leaves us with. We do need to regroup, so let's do that. So 14 minus five is nine, five minus four is one. Okay, so 19 and 15, those are pretty close numbers. I can take away one group of 15 I'm just gonna rewrite this over here. Sorry, I'm just kind of running out of room here. So 19 minus 15 gives us four. So now, now that we're at this point, four is smaller than our divisor, the number that we're dividing by. So then that means that we are going to have a remainder for this particular division problem. So let's go ahead and add up how many groups of 15, how many full groups of 15 we subtracted away and then we're going to have that remainder of four. So this method does work with remainders and it also works with decimals too. I do have a video on that, which I'll link in the description. So let's go ahead and add up all of our hundreds. See 100, 200, and 300, that gives us 600. Let's add up our 10, so that gives us 30. And then our ones gives us four. So we wind up with 634 
and a remainder of four. So that is how you do big seven division. Please let me know in the comments what you think. Have you tried this method before? Have you heard of this method before? Have you ever used this method? I would love to hear your thoughts. I'd also love it if you would let me know any particular skills that you would like me to make videos on. And last but not least, please like and subscribe. That really helps me to continue making these videos for you. I'll see you next time.